In this video, we're going to be studying phase notation. Phase notation is written after the formula, and it indicates what phase or state the matter is in. The three phases you're probably most familiar with are solid, liquid, and gas. An S indicates that something is solid. An L indicates that the reactant is a liquid. And of course, a G would indicate that it was a gas. There's also a new phase that we're going to study called aqueous, abbreviated AQ. It means dissolved in water. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these phases. This is water existing as a liquid, something you're all very familiar with already. Now let's take a look at copper 2 sulfate. You can see that copper 2 sulfate is a solid. That's why we've written S as the phase notation. Now let's take this copper 2 sulfate that's a solid and let's put it in the liquid water. Now we're going to have to stir this and what should happen is the copper 2 sulfate should dissolve into ions. It should split up into copper ions and sulfate ions. Now it's going to appear as if the copper 2 sulfate is disappearing. You can't see it anymore but of course we know because of the law of conservation of mass that it's really not disappearing, it's just simply dissolving into the solution. So now the copper 2 sulfate has dissolved. Anytime something dissolved in water, the phase notation is AQ. That's a brief overview of phase notation.